Hello everyone, we are going to talk about the topic. So the first thing that we need to think about is what is the topic? The topic is also uh, called the subject or the theme of a text. So this is the general idea or message that is in a text. It is stated in only one word or phrase, never as a sentence, nunca como una oración. Siempre se establece el tema como una sola palabra o una frase. And it answers the question, what is this about? ¿De qué se trata? And what is important to know about the topic for three principal things. The first one, to have a better comprehension of a text. The second one, to get full meaning of a text. And the third one, it helps us determine the main idea. Okay, so think about the topic uh, as the hub around which the whole wheel spins. Being the topic, the hub of the wheel, the thing that is here in the middle of the circle, the red circle, and being the text as all the wheel, okay? So we can say now that the topic is the central core around which the whole paragraph go round. Es, no es cierto, nuestro núcleo central eh, alrededor del cual todo el párrafo gira. Siendo el párrafo, el texto, todas las oraciones que tiene el texto, la rueda en sí. Y el tema, eh, la parte central de esta rueda. So, for example, let's suppose that in a paragraph I have a sentence about, about a banana. Then I have a sentence about bread. And I have a sentence about corn and another one about cherry. What is going to be the topic? What is it about? What are we talking about? We're talking about, or this is about food, right? So that is my topic. Now, you are going to do an exercise to guess what are we talking about, to guess what is the topic, and you're going to have 30 seconds to do that, okay? So look at the pictures that are in the wheel and try to guess the topic. So you can start now. What is it about? You have 30 seconds. You have 10 seconds. And two and one. So time's up. I hope that you could find out what was the topic. And let's suppose again that this paragraph, um, it has a sentence that talks about a dog. And then we have another sentence that talks about a horse, another one that is talking about a cat, and then we have the last one that talks about a pig. So what are we talking about? What is this about? This is about animals, right? So, good job. Um, how can I identify then the topic in a paragraph or in a conversation? Well, we have um, four steps or three steps actually, because in the paragraph there uh, are the same steps uh, that we have in the conversation. There is only one more step, pero vamos a ver. In a conversation, we have three main steps that are read quickly the entire conversation. Ask yourself, what is this about? And then write one word or phrase that answers that question. Leer rápidamente, preguntarme, ¿de qué se trata? Responder con una palabra que responda eh, a esa pregunta. Escribir una palabra que responda a esa pregunta. Eso para la conversación. On the other hand, we have the paragraph. And as you can see, and as I was telling you, we have the three steps that are actually the same, just the first one is different. So in the first step, you need to read a title. In the case that there is one. Si tiene un título, lea el título, en el caso del párrafo. Si no hay, puedes ir con los tres pasos que son los mismos que tenemos para reconocer el tema en una conversación. So read quickly the entire paragraph, ask yourself, what is this about? And write one word or phrase that answers that question. For both of, of them, if all sentences deal with the same thing, that, then that is the topic. Si todas las oraciones se refieren 
a lo mismo, ya, al mismo núcleo central como estamos viendo, at the same half of the wheel, then that is your topic. Ok, um, something that you need to remember is that we need to try to balance, ok, tenemos que establecer un equilibrio, not too general, not too specific, but just right, just right in the middle. We're going to see some examples to clarify this. So we have the activity time. We are going to try and learn a little bit about this. What is this about? This is the activity. The first text is going to be a conversation. Okay, you need to follow the steps that we uh, just talked about. Vamos a recordarlos un poquito. Son tres, ¿no es cierto? ¿Cuáles son los pasos? The first one. To read quickly the entire conversation. Good. The second one is to ask yourself, What is it about? And the third one is to write, okay? To write one word or one phrase o una frase que sea just right, just in the middle, not too general, not too specific, okay? So be prepared uh, with a pencil and a piece of paper, okay? Because you're going to write your topic and you will have one minute to do so. So let's start. And what is this conversation about? You have 30 seconds left. Okay, you have 10 seconds left. So I hope that you have your topic or finish writing now. Two, one. Okay, so we are ready. And the topic here is a newborn baby girl. Okay, if you have something similar like a newborn baby or a baby girl, that is fine. Okay, si tiene algo similar a, a lo que está allí, como un recién nacido, un bebé recién nacido o una bebé. Okay, uh, that is fine. If you wrote a baby, is kind of good, but that is too general. But if you wrote the neighbor's eight pound baby girl, it's kind of good, but it's too specific. Okay, you, you just need to strike the balance, as I was telling you. Something that we need to remember at this point is the topic is only one word or phrase okay as you could see we only had phrases it is never a sentence so let's see an example what is the text about what is this conversation about a newborn baby girl but not the text is about a newborn baby girl okay never as a sentence nunca como una oración esto no, aunque esté el tema allí, esto no, no está bien para responder la pregunta. ¿De qué se trata? ¿Cuál es el tema? El texto es acerca de... No, never as a sentence. Just be concise, ¿ok? Uh, next exercise. So, again, what is this about? In this exercise, you're going to have a text, a paragraph, a little paragraph. ¿Ok? So, follow the steps. Which are the steps? Again... The first one, read the title if there is one. Then, read quickly the entire paragraph. Then, ask yourself, what is this about? And write, write your topic. One word or a phrase, not a sentence. So, be ready, be prepared, because you have one minute again. So, let's start. What is this about?
You have 30 seconds left. And you have 10 seconds left, so I hope that you are almost ready. Five and four and three and two and one. And time's up. Okay, um, check your topic if it is fine. Check if it is not, you know, not too specific, just right, just balanced. And we're going to check now. So as you can see, the topic here actually is Mexico City. Mexico is kind of good, but that is too general. Es muy general. México, sí, hablamos de eso, pero es demasiado general. Mexican food, on the other hand, that was also there, that is too specific, demasiado específico. Just in the middle, just balance, there is Mexico City. Como podemos ver, that is the hub of the wheel, right? Ese es nuestro centro. Everything was spinning around Mexico City. And now it's your turn to practice on your booklet. So you can open your booklet now and start doing the exercises that you have there regarding this topic that is find the topic or topic in a word, uh, sorry, topic in a sentence, topic um, in paragraphs, topic in general, topic in a conversation, everything regarding topic, you need to work on that. So that's all for this week and see you in class.